do the left end paddle, but it's attached to this one. So we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna we can either set a left panel, but we've already got one, so we don't need to do that. But let's remove the left panel. How about that? Remove left panel, apply. And remember over here, it showed no left panel, so it didn't take it out. Remove right panel, it'll take out the one on the right. Apply. There we go. Our right panel is removed. Now, we've got a right panel removed, and let's say we need to replace that right panel. And the reason we removed that right panel was because the module didn't come with the correct one that we wanted. So we can come over here to our closet catalog, we can go to panels, say we want to do those end panel for some rod reason, we want to do it 19 inches, and we want it to be an outside vertical panel. Hey, that's what the V stands for, vertical. So, I go in here and I select my vertical panel, we'll do the 84 one, otherwise it'll be too tall. I'm going to come up here to my actions, and I'm going to set right panel, and apply. We can see here, set our panel in. We can also see here our right vertical panel now has a skew to it. Probably the same. Nope, it's not the same skew we took out. Same skew. It would have been 14 inches, not 19 inches. So I'm going to go back in again because I don't want this. I'm going to remove my right panel. And I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to select the proper right panel. Outside panel. 84 and I'm going to set right panel and apply. All right, so now we've got our panel set. Let's move on to doors. If we want doors in our closet. Now some people have doors in their closet, some people don't. Um, in this case, we're going to put some doors in just for fun. So I've selected doors and I've got my module selected. So from here, needs to know what doors. Now if I click on my drop down, it's empty. The reason it's empty is we got to think about what we're doing here. We're putting doors on a 30 inch wide item. So those doors are not going to be hinge left. They're going to be two doors. If we were like an 18 inch item or 21 inch item, possibly even a 24 inch item here, then you know we would have our choice of right or left but we're double doors so times two automatically pulls up doors that fit gives us our width I'm sorry our height first 22 inches pair of them 22 inches tall so we've got basically two doors that are 15 by 22 um, for this guy we're going to oh I don't know let's do a um, let's do a 35 inch tall unit and I don't want this on top I want to set this on the bottom now I have the option of inserting a fixed shelf I want to do that so I have something to stop the top of my doors you know, we don't want to, we don't want your doors coming up and then having a hole behind them where you've got you know no shelf so here we go insert fixed shelf doors add doors there's our doors. Okay, say we've added these doors and ah, just not quite right. Highlight the door itself. Come up here and it tells you which door we have highlighted. If we click the delete button, it'll delete that door for us. Again, delete that door for us. Can you see the shelf that it added right here? Now we don't need that at the moment either, so delete. And that's how you take your components out. We're going to add those back in there. And now we're going to add a few more shelves throughout. So we're going to come over here to our closet catalog. Let's expand this guy a little bit so we can see what's going on. Okay, closet catalog. And shelves. So we're going to do some 14 inch shelves for obvious reasons and I'm just going to add the fixed shelf in here but you could do adjust adjustable shelf as well you could do an 8 foot shelf if you want a shelf going all the way across um, but it's going to interfere with some of the panels and stuff so we're going to choose our 30 inch wide shelf and we're going to go in we're going to drop a shelf in now you'll notice as I do this if I drop a shelf over here it's going to put it over there on my highlighted item 
really cool keeps you out of trouble from putting things in the wrong spot but when you switch modules <laughs> and this gets me just about every time when I go to switch modules I'll be doing shows and it's like ah, and it puts it over there and it's like wait a minute I want it over here where my mouse is so you just have to highlight the shelf or the module and then it'll put it in there so here I've got a couple of shelves in there I added a shelf inside now yes there's doors in there but you still have to fill the inside with something because it's just a big gaping hole otherwise so I've got some shelves in there and I probably want to put a shelf up here toward the top across most of these and see there I did it again component delete it highlight your module drop your shelf in highlight your module drop your shelf in and I didn't get them very straight if you want to move them just come click on them maybe it's supposed to work this there we go I have to stop moving my mouse you just click on them moving them up and down to where you want them Okay, now, so far I've got a pretty good start. You know, I've got some storage over here. I'm going to put a closet rod in across these guys. So we've got some rods, maybe do a double on one of them. But I need drawers. So we're going to go to drawers, complete drawers, hardwood drawers, and we get to choose what drawer we like. In this case, I'm going to do a 30 inch. Uh, obviously, we want 30 inch. But I'm going to do 11 inch high one. I'm going to drop it in right there. Another 11 inch high one. Now you'll notice that I'm just dropping them over here and they're lining up. I can move my mouse right and left all I want and they're not going to move. They will move right and left. You have to hold down your control button to do it. But right now I don't want them moving right and left. So There we go. i got three deep drawers in there. Now you may want you know to mix them up put some small drawers in there but I like big deep drawers I like losing my stuff down the bottom and not finding it for years but I'm gonna go back to my shelves because I probably want a shelf across the top up here so I'm gonna do a fixed shelf no reason for that one to be adjustable because we don't want to go anywhere you will notice how things snap they kinda snap in and then you can drag through that snap so we're just gonna let it go till it snaps in there and we're gonna let it go Okay, there we go. Now we've got some more storage areas. This guy, a little short maybe to hang something, so we could grab our shelf, run it up here a bit, give us a few more inches on that. And now we need to put some closet rods in here. So, our closet rods are hiding over here on us. They're hiding over here on us under accessories and tube. And stretch that out a little bit so I can see everything. And we've got some options under here. We've got wardrobe tube kit. That's what you want to use in this instance because you've got the kits of the proper length. Um, this guy here, SN, is for satin nickel or B, oil rubbed bronze. I'm going to do the satin nickel ones. I'm going to add a kit in right here. Just run it up there. Then I'm going to select my next one, add a kit in here. Add my next one, add a kit in here. There we go. Now I've got my three closet rods going across here. Got some shelving in there. Okay. We want to dress this up a little bit. We can do that too close back out of here. Um, you'll see we've got lots and lots of accessories. You need some edge banding you can throw in, extra toe kick, extra hardware. I mean, look at all the hardware available, man. Um, template and tools, we've got tubes, we've got rods, um, we've got racks, tie racks, belt racks, pants racks, wood pants racks. Um, you know, you could add a pant rack over here into one of these. 
uh, 30SN. Oh, guys, I honestly don't know what that pant rack, pant rack looks like yet. I can't say it, let alone know what it looks like. So we'll have to take a 3D find out what that bad boy looks like. Um, pull out. You've got pull out hampers. You could have put a pull out hamper in back here. Some wire baskets, mirror pull outs. Um, you know, that's that little makeup mirror thingy that sticks on your wall and you can pull in and out. Don't have a lot of use for one of those, but some people do. Um, you've got bags, clothes bags, and charging stations, and shoe fences, um, iron holders, and the right color of caulking, and stains, and all this good stuff that you just didn't know you could live without. But trust me, when it comes to designing closets, you can't live without. Oops. There we go. Get that guy. <clears throat> okay, so let's put some clothes in here. Um, oh, there's a pants rack with trousers all the way already on it. We'll stick that guy and see if it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, he's big. All right, I don't like them both. We're gonna delete one of those guys. There we go. 